So our next candidate is one of our candidates for Lieutenant Governor. Uh, we know, many of us know Jimmy Tingle as a comedian, uh, but Jimmy also has a degree from Harvard School of Government, uh, Master of Public Administration. And uh, without further ado, Jimmy Tingle. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Excellent to be here tonight. My name is Jimmy Tingle. That is my real name. Many of you know me as an entertainer. I just want to assure you this campaign is 100% serious. I'm running for Lieutenant Governor of the state of Massachusetts because I feel I can help the Democratic Party communicate our message to the people who both support us, but as importantly to the people in this state that we've lost. I was a, a commentator for 60 Minutes 2, a commentator for MSNBC. I communicate in a short period of time a very concise message. That's what I do. I grew up in Cambridge, went to public schools. My father bought a house with the GI Bill. I went to UMass Dartmouth. And six years ago, I went back to school to the Kennedy School of Government to see how I could use my skills as an entertainer for purposes beyond entertainment. And I have to say, the great thing about going back to school in your 50s, you get the student ID and the senior discount. <laughs> so I highly recommend it. And the message we need to communicate to the people in the Democratic Party that are on our side and the people that we've lost in the Democratic Party is that government matters. And the government can change people's lives and at times government can actually save people's lives. During the 1980s I lost three friends to alcohol and drugs and I personally was going downhill in a big way because of those substances. And I started calling places for help. Detoxes, rehabs, treatment centers, hospitals. And I would get the runaround. There's no beds. There's long lines. Call back next week. You don't have insurance. I called the Cambridge City Hospital, and I said to the man who answered the phone, I really need help. And without missing a beat, this man said, you called the right place. I went into that hospital. I stayed seven days through Christmas 1987. I got out. I moved to New York City. I focused on stand-up comedy and recovery. That's all I did for a year. A year later, I went on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. The other guest that night was Bob Hope. I believe in God, I believe in miracles, and I believe in the power of government to change people's lives. Everything I have in my life, my wife, my son, my relationship with people like yourselves, my education, my career, is directly attributable to that man's response when I reached out for help in December of 1987. And I'm running for Lieutenant Governor at the height of this opioid crisis in this city, this state, and this country in large measure to hopefully ensure that when anybody in the state of Massachusetts picks up a phone and reaches out for help, the answer on the other end always will be, you call the right place. That's largely why I'm doing this. My political philosophy can be summed up by the spiritual principles of all the world's major religions. We already know what to do, feed the hungry, house the homeless, heal the sick, visit those in prison, welcome the stranger, and I would add, fix the tea. <laughs> the greatest thing about running for political office in 2018 is I am not walking around obsessing about Donald Trump. No. I'm really not. I'm not thinking about Donald Trump. I'm thinking about, if I get elected lieutenant governor, how am I gonna help with public transportation? What am I going to do to improve public education? What am I going to do to increase revenue that we so badly need in this state? What am I going to do about health care? What am I going to do about substance abuse? This is what I'm thinking about. We don't like Donald Trump. We don't like his stance on taxes or climate change or guns. Arm the teachers. Arm the teachers. My brother is a teacher. It's a stressful job. Don't give him a gun. <laughs> That'll cause more problems. We don't like Donald Trump and the Republican Party. We want to send a message to the Republican Party and Donald Trump. This is how we do it. We put a Democrat back in the corner office in the state of Massachusetts. <laughs> so when anybody in the state of Massachusetts picks up the phone and reaches out for help, whether it's health care, housing, immigration, transportation, education, women's issues, labor issues, small business issues, or substance abuse, the answer on the other end always will be, you called the right place. My name's Jimmy Tingle. 
I approve this message. <laughs> Yeah.